you know there's difference between abuse and discipline some people believe that i cannot discipline them the way i want to discipline them so i need to send them back to nigeria where they will be disciplined i would love to see my children grow up here and have that soft <laughs> soft mindset and then when they have grown they can go there to see what life looks like in order for them to appreciate what they have here see our children you know struggling to have what they have easily here that is enough to you know not give them entitled mentality they don't have to go there to really go and suffer and suffer and suffer no no hey guys welcome back to my channel jimmy here beyond braids i'm so excited to be back i hope you're doing amazing um if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're not new thank you so much for coming back in today's topic i want to talk about people wanting to take their children back to nigeria and uh it's for many reasons some people believe that they don't have uh, home training they will call it one leco they're just walking past people they cannot greet they cannot greet and some other people believe that it is for the educational system <laughs> <laughs> educational words some people believe that it's for uh, for them to learn resilience to be strong mentally to be strong to be able to withhold any problem that will come into their life the way we we are strong and maybe because children are this they are not very strong in their mindset any little problem now they have mental problem any little problem they have mental problem and for me i'm just here laughing like <laughs> is it the same nigeria like i've been here for 10 years and i know of a fact the last time i went to nigeria was five or six years ago when my five or six years ago when i was pregnant with my second baby and my baby that my baby then now is six years almost six and a half years over six years so it's been over six years that i've been in nigeria and i know for a fact the nigeria i left then is not the same nigeria now you can <laughs> okay based on in individual preference now if i am to send my children back to nigeria for whatever reason the very first thing would be why why am i sending my children back to nigeria first of all for for the they don't have these uh they are not greeting did you see the children in nigeria they don't they don't greet all of them now live in estates in fact if for anything people in nigeria want to import every culture here back to nigeria they want to belong they want to many of them have never been to embassy yet their accent is more american than mine <laughs> The way they speak their their phone is way much more than you know is way more Americanized than me that I've been here. So all of them are trying to run away from all this culture of of Nigeria and they want to be Americanized. We here want to go back and teach them all our culture. And culture being for me, I would like that they not even me, like them speaking our language that is one of the very beautiful culture that it will be and i must give it to my children's dad oh my god he would teach them all this yoruba is so big on them understanding our language for me i really don't see it as a big deal it's just that when we are not home we appreciate home so much people that are home they are not appreciating it they are copying here it is it's crazy right so the very first one is the culture you can they, they don't have to go to nigeria to learn that culture they can be here and understand how to greet properly when you wake up in the morning you give it greet that is good morning that is it is in normal your language ekaro i don't know how to say that in every other language but in my own language ekaro ekaro ma ekaro sir if you want them it is something that you have to like you can do here without sending them on that is one culture the second one for me that can be very valid is uh for the education and i believe education system education system in nigeria is more of theory <laughs> 
Nkan ta on lecture e for Jimmy Rilo Lawyer like you cannot if they write A is equals to B you have to write it in same way not every lecturer but most of them want you to just write word for word if you write it in, in another way it will be a problem they do more of theory than 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 pra even in class you cannot challenge your lecturer to say if they ask you this and then you ask a very more deeper question be like it's like you are challenging their ego they are they will not see like oh amazing i see you are doing your work but i believe here yeah, they encourage that like when you ask some question that because i mean i've been two different school here in my this old age <laughs> no old age <laughs> in this my big age and then if you ask any question like that even if it doesn't go in line with their what they are teaching you then you address it and it will not be like you are challenging them they don't see it as if you're challenging them or you are bruising their ego in any way they welcome it like oh yeah that shows you're really invested in this but in nigeria you want someone to feel you every oh so you think you know yeah come outside and come and be teaching them any little thing trigger them and we understand the the situation of the country at the end of the day for me i believe that if you as a parent have time to do your job nigeria is not safe america is not safe wherever you find yourself make it work sending children to nigeria for the educational whatever so they will finish that that education and say come here to come and evaluate and start start the standard of education in nigeria i know it's not the same right here whatever it is you do in nigeria you still have to like even if you are not starting all over it is not on the same basis it's not on the same basis i don't i don't i don't i don't even know how that is even making any sense in the first place if you have time to take care of your children to train them to in, in to input your value in them this is the family you come from this is what we do this is what we don't do we don't talk like this if you have the time to actually train them wherever you take them they will be able to stand whatever challenges and they even they are seeing you living your life full of challenges yet you are rising above it your life is enough to train them whatever you want to train them and i think sometimes we just want to always look for um and an escape sending back them to nigeria over here will give you time to work 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 and be sending money money cannot train your children people back home cannot have their interest in art more than you have it except if you want to go to nigeria together with them if i'm sending them to nigeria we are going together i will still be there to still be doing the work sending money sending them back home and sending money will not be enough by the time they are sending them back to you <laughs> damage from both sides for me if you will not be there presently like you will not be present to be taking care of them then there is no point if you are here and you're present you're doing every work that you're doing it will be amazing you see how they and if there is anything that gives me hope my church i see every different different departments that they are doing and these children we've had different times that the children have to take over the service and they did wonder if you do your job leave the rest for god regardless of where you are they will be okay right now my my right now for me i don't think i want to send my children to nigeria because of i know i'm doing the work that i'm supposed to do their dad believed that <laughs> they have to be sent to nigeria and when we get to that 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 bridge i believe we will cross it and when we see the kind of children we are raising we, and we are able to beat our chest that you know these people are because i don't believe that you have to send them to nigeria to to train whatever you, you they need to know they can learn anything right here and if you are not going to be following them back to nigeria then there is no point who are you sending them to to your mom to your grandma a lot of people have done it and they will say it works but for me i don't think um it, it, it's a good idea it is you trying to um look for a way of escape running away from your responsibility that at the end of the day you will still have to do you can't run away from your responsibility you have to do it sending your children back home is like running away from your responsibility in my own opinion it might not be like that for you in my opinion if you are doing a minimal work you have the time to work you have the time for your children there's no how they will not turn out fine 
there's no how there will, there's no how mm -mm. there's no how they will not turn out fine so if you will be going back home and be going with them fine but you will be sending them by themselves regardless of their age regardless of their age it's won't, it won't be like their parents being there even you by is it the the mother that will follow them or is it the father that will follow them all of us i don't <laughs> please comment in the comment section did you send your children to nigeria to africa wherever and how, how, how is it working because for me if your presence you they see your life your life is like an example for them and you are very truthful you're not you're not abusing them you know there's difference between abuse and discipline some people believe that i cannot discipline them the way i want to discipline them so i need to send them back to nigeria where they will be disciplined there's there's there is thin line between discipline not even thin there is a very significant difference between discipline and abusing beating pa, 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 pa. <laughs> beating anyhow for no reason is 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 not uh, there's the big difference from abusing them to the point of social worker wanting to take them away from you compared to you discipline them in order for them to know you don't do this this is how you do because if you don't discipline them there is system in place that will discipline them for you and at that time it will be too late at that time it will be too late I'm not sending my children to Nigeria and I, I, I hope <laughs> that dad will want the same even though I believe he, he would like to send them to Nigeria at what age at what point is what I don't know but for me I think if you have the time to train them here and be here uh -uh, we have also depends on you where you are raising them your mindset so many factors so many factors i would love to see my children grow up here and have that soft <laughs> soft mindset and then when they have grown they can go there to see what life looks like in order for them to appreciate what they have here see how children you know struggling to have what they have easily here that is enough to you know not give them entitled mentality they don't have to go there to really go and suffer and suffer and suffer no no it's a soft life. <laughs> a soft life. And I hope that um, everything works together for our good, regardless of where we are. Regardless if our children grow up here or they are being sent back to Nigeria, which I want my children to grow up right here. Please drop your comment section. Did you think like children that were sent back to Nigeria have more chance of, you know, having mental capacity to deal with life? than children that that grow up here let me know what you think but this i've come to the end of this video i shall see you in my next video peace out